What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and I'm out on the river. Now y'all know in yesterday's video, I was on another portion of the river, had a really, really good day, caught an almost six pounder, missed some more big fish. And of course I decided to come back out and see if I can do it again today, but on another portion of the river, still in the John boat. And guess what y'all? I've got old Lee in the boat with me. Y'all have been asking, where has he been? We are finally back out on the water again, finally. So we're gonna crush them. Basically we're gonna catch them, but that's, that's all it is to it. The water looks perfect. It's cloudy. It actually rained a little bit this morning, but the sun's popping through the clouds here and there. We've got waters in the 60s and we're hoping for some crazy top water action. So. We're right here at our first spot. I'm gonna get this camera strapped to my chest. We're gonna see if we can catch some doggone big ones. What do you wanna, what do you wanna set a goal today? 13? 13? You wanna 13, do 15? 13, 15 pounds, yeah. So we're gonna try to get between 13 to 15 pounds. That is the goal. 13 on the low end, 15 on the high end. I think we can do it. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's catch a bag. Heck yeah, y'all, we are pumped. Both of us, we got that vibe that just, it's gonna happen. And I'm gonna pick up the frog to start off with. And this is the new mock frog. This is the mock popping frog. This is in the bluegill color. And we are gonna see if we can catch a doggone fish on it today. I'm pretty excited. Lee's throwing a frog as well. And y'all know yesterday that I threw the buzz bait and had a really, really good day on the buzz bait. But we're gonna start off both throwing the frog. We got some pretty good wind. So, you know, the popping frog could be really good. Uh, the buzz bait could be really good as well. And then also I might throw like a prop style bait and then we might flip. I don't know. We're gonna see what the heck is going on and see if we can catch a big one. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. What are you gonna do? Okay, Lee's gonna pick up the spinnerbait. He said with this wind, he wants to fire that spinnerbait. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. But we've got water temps of 65 degrees. 65, man. Yesterday I was only able to get one to come up and eat the frog. So hoping today is maybe a little bit different. But we got multiple different coves that we're gonna fish. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. These fish are definitely up here spawning, up on the bed. And these river fish love to come up and bite top water when they're bedding. Unlike a lot of lake fish, we really got to flip for them, different stuff. In the river, they like to bite top water. So we're gonna see if we can get old big girl to come up and Eat some on top. I'm sure that spinnerbait Lee's throwing will get a big one to bite that as well. I've caught some really big ones on the spinnerbait this time of year as well in the river. So it's definitely a good choice. But we'll see if we can dial them in. Yeah, I mean, we might have to flip for them. We just had to see. Yesterday, the flipping bite really was not that good. It was definitely, the buzz bait was, was what they wanted, but I'm hoping today it's the frog. All right, so we fished on back into this pocket way back in here. We saw a bunch of gar laid up, but just not a lot of activity, um, not a lot of movement bass wise. So we're gonna work our way out. I'm gonna continue to throw this buzz bait. Lee's still throwing the frog. We got another pocket up the river. And that's one thing about this time of year. A lot of times you just gotta keep moving and jump pockets to find one that they've really pushed up in good because just sometimes just certain pockets don't have them. Some years they got them, some years they don't. Next week, this pocket might be loaded. It's just kind of one of those deals. So we're gonna work our way 
out of here and hopefully we pick up a big one on this right side going out but if we don't then we'll head to the next spot all right tell you what i'm gonna pick up i'm gonna pick up the flipping stick got the old black and blue mock crawl Let's see if we can get bit on this I mean, there definitely should be some fish in here, for sure. Just see if they're on more of a, more of a flipping, flipping bite. There he is, Lee. Oh, ready. Nice bass, really broke him off. That's my bad. Well, Did, didn't that. retie. Didn't, didn't retie. Dude, that's the first time I broke off this year. God, no. First time I broke off this That's pretty good though, considering yeah, me. My God, no. I, mean. I didn't retie. That's my bad. God, go it, y'all. I, I messed that up. Oh, he's, oh, he threw it. He threw it. Look at it sinking. I see it, I see it. See it, he threw it. I see it. Well, y'all, that bass literally just threw my bait out of his mouth so he no longer has a hook in his mouth so good for him for sure but it's done sunk now dang it that fish i flipped up to that cypress knee and lee i think it might be a flipping deal man looks like it might be a flipping deal i gotta get up underneath hey i got my stuff under there but hey what was that my second flip yeah i mean literally my second flip you need to this right i don't know There he is, Lee. Yo, he ate that crawl too. I mean, that mock crawl. I mean, absolutely chuck. Look at that red. Look at the red eyes on it. Yeah. All right, so I got that on the back camera. It's starting to rain too, Lee. Look at that. I got that on the back camera. I had not cut my chesty on. Uh oh, Lee got one. Oh, Lee. There's old red-eyed male right there. Thank you, buddy. Lee just missed one on the Swamp Water Blue Rage Bug. We just jumped back over to this side and we said, hey, you know, we got that bite back there in the back I did and on the crawl. So we wanted to try it again. Did you stick that fish, Lee? Darn. Right. Lee one's got it. Look at him going to the side. Look at him. I mean, I think we done dialed him in. This fish right here was just absolutely, look at him peeing everywhere. Woohoo! Don't need no hook in the face, Lee. No. Oh, you just lost a leg. You lost a leg. That ain't gonna happen. Black and blue mock crawl, y'all. They're up on these trees. They're up in here, ready to do their thing. Do, 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 do their thing. Well, y'all, we've definitely figured out that these fish are on a flipping bite. Definitely more so than the top water bite. Don't really understand what the reasoning for that is, but there's some kind of, some kind of reason. I mean, we've done gotten like five or six bites in the last, I mean, 50 yards. So we're gonna run into a big one here shortly. All right, y'all, we're gonna make a move to the next spot. Next spot. I think we've kind of figured out what they're doing on the old flipping bite, getting some bites on the old mock crawl there, black and blue today. It's cloudy, so a darker color, you know, that makes sense. 
darker always works good when it's when it's cloudy if it was sunny i'd probably be flipping that uh that mud candy or green pumpkin gold but i'm gonna get on up the river all right y'all we made it to the next spot next spot and we're gonna catch him we gonna catch him Got some trash floating around in a live well. <laughs> Got a couple NOS cans in there. Y'all know how that is. But. You, you, thank you. Yeah. We got the old mock crawl back on. Pick that back up. I'm going to give her a little spritz of bang crawl. Oh, <laughs> dude, you got me. You got me. Dad gummit, he got me. <laughs> he sure did. Oldest trick in the book, and you got me. <laughs> oh my goodness! But we're here at another cove. We're gonna work our way in. Lee's picked up the frog right here. I got the flipping stick back in my hand, and I think we're gonna crack them in here. Really think we got a good opportunity to potentially catch a big one in here and pretty excited pretty excited about it these trees tend to be pretty good in uh in this cove so let's see if we can make it happen got him yep. on the frog yep. on the frog buddy oh it's a good one too it's a good one too. Oh yeah. There's a three pounder. Look how fat that fish is, Lee. Look at his eyes just as red as they can be, buddy. Heck yeah. First one. There's a pretty one right there. Look at look, dude. She's full of eggs. Full of right there. God. Pretty one. Oh, we forgot to weigh it. Hey, we're gonna call it three. She was three all day. Yep. She was three all day. Up there on that point. Nice. She comes on the side of me. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about right there. First frog fish. First frog fish of the year, right? Yep, nice. So we worked our way all the way to the back of this pocket. Lee caught that one right at the mouth and we have not gotten another bite. So kind of surprising. I'm going to be honest, pretty doggone really, really surprised to be honest with y'all because this is one of those pockets that I expect to really, really get them good in. And right now that's not the case. So we're going to work our way back into these, into these trees right here. I'm gonna throw around back here, see if we can get bit, and then we're gonna work our way back out and keep on moving. But definitely super surprised that this pocket doesn't have them real, real good. All right, y'all, next spot, next spot, and hopefully, 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 it's got them. It's been a little tough, man. It's been a little tough. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's going on. I think the weather, I think it's just sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, off and on rain. I think it's just, it's just kind of weird. But hopefully, hopefully right here, we get into them. Yeah, the sun just popped out and now I can see a lot more clouds right here in front of us working their way towards us. So it's just been sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy. And I think that just has the fish in a, just a weird mood, I think. But hopefully we pick up a darn big one in here. I tell you, if we don't get one on his right side working in, I'm going to be super, super surprised. Got him? 
Oh, nice one on the frog. Yep. Heck yeah. Took you too. Hey, that's a nice one. Well, I guess I'll maybe pick top water back up. Yeah. Pound and a half. Yeah, pound and a half. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, he bit it as soon as it hit the water? Oh, wow. Smooth the fish in the mouth to get back out of there. Yeah. Go to the next mouth of the next one, you know? Oh, God, that was a nut. Dude, that was a giant bass. Gosh, oh my, I saw him. Did you see him? Yeah, I did. I did. Dog, it, man. Just picked this buzz bait back up, y'all. And I'm gonna tell you what, that was a freaking big one. I think it was just long. Yeah. It was really long. Yeah. Golly. Well, ain't thrown this long and that sucker came up on it. That was a good one, I mean, come right off that tree. Came right off that tree and blew up on it. Jonas Bridge, don't look bad. Yeah, look right. Mmm, big. Oh, there he is. Cool. That's a, is it a black fish? Oh, no. I was going to say, there's a wake coming up behind my bait. And that is a doggone blackfish. Yeah. Look at that sucker. So he rolled when I saw him, Jack. Daggone it. Well, that buzz bait is probably going to be mangled after this. Let's see if we can get this out without destroying my buzz bait. Well, dang. Yeah. Thought I had a big and nearly. As soon as he come up and roll, I saw exactly where he was. Darn it. I saw something come up behind it and like wake up behind it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was hoping it was a big bass. I mean, he bent my hook. Bent it bad. Well, y'all, I thought that I had a big old bass coming up on the on the buzz bait, but instead, this old slimy blackfish. He wanted to play. Dang it! Well, at least I got a bite. <laughs> just want uh, just want what I wanted. Big one, big one. I'm gonna swing him, I'm gonna swing him. Oh, God. Buzz bait, baby. Dad going chunk right there. Look at that one. That's a pretty one. I don't know, uh, I don't know what he'll go. Probably full of something. Probably full. That is a thick girl. Oh my goodness, look how fat that sucker is. Back out of here. I'll weigh it real quick just to see. Yep. I think that fish is four pounds, I think. Oh, yeah. Y'all check that one out. That old fat girl come up on that buzz bait. That buzz bait will get them. I just, I haven't thrown it today a lot. Uh, but picked it up. Got old black fish to come up on it. And now this one. Let's see what she goes. Probably 485. No, 403. 403. She's just short and chunky. Hey, and with that, we may be almost on our mark. There you go. About 13, 14 right pounds for today. Yeah, because I mean, that one you caught was three for sure, probably a little over three. Oh, fat girl. Thank you. 
Here we go. Oh, look at it. Don't. <laughs> All right. Heck yeah. That's why I throw it so much, man. It just gives big bites. Oh my goodness. Hey, that fish just blew up. You see that? It might not get as many bites, but it just gives freaking big bites. Yeah, Lee, these fish are not up yet. No. That fish you caught with slam full of eggs, that one I just caught with slam full of eggs, they ain't, they ain't pushed up in here yet. Nope. Whereas yesterday, I'm pretty sure some of those fish that I caught or that were in there were actively spawning. I don't think these fish, quite I don't think they're quite there yet. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Now, boy. Hey. All right. There's another little guy. That's hey, look. That's another female though. Look how yep, fat that thing is. Slammed full of eggs. Thank you, girl. All right, y'all. Well, two fish on the buzz bait. Well, three fish actually, including the black fish. I'll take that. I will take that. Probably should have been throwing it a little bit more, but it's been so, I don't know if y'all look over on that side, there's so much stuff in the water, like piling and just leaves and other junk that certain areas you just cannot fish it. I mean, it'll just get slammed, gommed up with mess. So that's been one of the reasons, but also when I threw it earlier, I just really didn't get bit on it. So I put it down. But just like yesterday, I think it might be one of them things we just gotta pick it up and throw it and throw it and throw it. Yeah, when it comes out the right one, man. It, he'll eat it, yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it just appeals to big fish too, bigger fish. But definitely these females that we're catching are fat, absolutely full of eggs, and they are, they're not on the bed yet. They're just pushing in. I do the same mess the first time I get in here. There it goes, good one. I ain't that big, but. Yeah, buzz bait on the back side of that tree. Another doggone fat one, man. I mean, just as fat. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, girl. I think I can safely say thank you, girl. But yeah, after I fish in my Ranger for a while and get in this boat, I, sometimes I get a little uh, a little unsure footed. I will about to get dumped a couple times. <laughs> Got to get my, my sea legs right. Dude, buzz bait. Like, I honestly think it's just the bite, the bite they're on. And I feel like if I'd have thrown it earlier, like really, you know, push the issue, I think I would have caught him on it as well. But we got one more cove we're gonna fish. One more. And that's gonna be about all the time that I got. Cause I gotta get home and get. Yeah. Yep. And it, it, the, the other cove ain't but maybe five up. Good, okay. All right, I'm gonna throw one right. Oh my God. Not a bad one. Yep. Up there on this point. Buzz bait, dude. That's a chunk. Right there, hung all up on my GoPro. But there's another one. I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know if they're just starting to bite or if it's just a buzz bait. Uh, gotta be buzz bait. Yeah. Me and Lee, we're talking. We're trying to debate. Both of us got to be home fairly shortly. And we're trying to see if we got enough time to go up into another pocket. And that's another pretty fish right there. I mean, that's a, I don't know. That fish is two and a half for sure. Definitely two and a half, but came up on that buzz bait. Thank you, girl.
Heck yeah. I think we good we got one. I think we over uh I think I think we got probably definitely close to that 13 mark now. With uh with those ones we caught, which those ones up in the other cove were a little bit smaller, but you caught a three, I just caught at least a two and a half, so that's uh that's five and a half on the low end. Then four, nine, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah nine, oh yeah. We we got thirteen. We got thirteen. So let's uh yeah yeah so let's go up in in that other cave let's do it yep all right y'all last spot this is gonna be it we are limited on time we got to go through here pretty quick but we don't need a ton of time to catch a giant. The current right here is ripping. And hopefully we can get a darn big one. Hopefully we can get a big one. We got a really good current seam. The river comes right around here, comes around the corner. And these big fish will get up in these pockets and on these current seams and feed up. For the spawn, I mean, because they're definitely not... I'm not saying there aren't any fish actively spawning here. I'm not saying that. But right now, I'm not seeing the evidence of that. I'm not seeing the movement on the bank or anything. So... And then obviously the females we're catching are just as fat as they can be. Throw one more right across this point right here, and then that's gonna have to be it for me. Yeah, All right, last cast. <laughs> yep, that's it. Hey, I'll take that though. We didn't we didn't do bad, but we gotta get back. We both got stuff to do. Yep. Hey, enjoyed it, brother. I did too, brother. Yeah. Always yep. do, man. Let's file up that old Merkin. Let's get this thing back on the trailer. <laughs>